Hello everyone, thank you for joining me today on Everything Aero Pilates. In this video, I'm doing my extreme, very beginner rebounding workout. And the reason I'm doing this is because even the beginning basic cardio rebounding workouts that come with any of the machines, and I've checked out pretty much all the videos except the VHS tapes, all of those beginning cardio rebounder workouts were way too difficult for me, they were way too difficult for my mother. So if you guys are just beginning, they might be too difficult for you. So if that's you, this video is for you. One of the funny things about fit people doing videos for beginners is they're fit and they don't have some of the limitations that we have when we're starting out. There are complications that you just don't think about if you're thinner and you're more fit or you've been fit most of your life. Those are the things that we're considering in this video and we're gonna to try to make it so that you can complete a cardio rebounding workout and then build upon it. Um, so this is gonna be a quick cardio rebounding workout. First for your cardio rebounding workout, I find it really helpful to use this head and neck pillow. It supports the curve of my neck. If you don't have the head and neck pillow, no problem. You can flip up your headrest here and that's gonna give you an angle here to help you. So we're also gonna be on two cords, two black cords or one red cord. Two black cords is what Marjolaine Herman suggests for the very beginner um, because it's still gonna pull you back in, but it's also it's not gonna be too hard on your legs to jump off. So two cords, I'm gonna use one red cord because it's just my preferred cord right now. But when I began, I used two black cords. So two black cords and we're gonna lie down. To lie down, I'm just gonna kind of lean on my side and roll over, scooch down as I need to. Resting my feet on top, my cords are ready. Now, on this platform, I can rest my arms next to me. That's a new thing. I did not used to be able to do that, even on this wider platform. If you cannot, you're going to grab this side right here and just kind of, you don't have to squeeze. You're just going to kind of relax your hands. Your shoulders are going to be able to at least be somewhat relaxed on the platform. Okay, so to begin with, we're just going to do some slow squats on our rebounder. We're kind of on our toes. We're going to do 10 of these. Three. We're not even leaving. We're just getting our body in the position, getting ready to jump. Five, six, on our tippy toes, seven, eight, make sure you're breathing through it, nine, and ten. And now we're going to go to single leg. We have five repetitions on each leg, and all we're going to do is stand up, and this leg is going to be bent, hanging there or you can put it straight if that's more comfortable. You can even do this motion here to bring it in with, bring it in every time you move. But you want it to go back to the rebounder in between. So we're gonna do five of those, here it goes. One, two, you can be up here, three, four, you can just hang here, five. Switching legs, one, foot down, two, foot down. If I'm doing my leg out, three, foot down, four, foot down, five, if I'm just hanging there, foot down. And now we're gonna go side to side walking. One, two, we're gonna do this for 10. Three, four, you're moving a little more vigorously now. Five, six, getting warmed up, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now we're gonna pretend almost like we're lifting off, but we're still keeping contact. We're going up on our tippy toes, keeping contact with that platform. We're gonna do that 10 for each side. Here's one, two, three, tippy toe, four. That was a little bit like a push off, but we're still keeping connected. Seven, eight, nine, 10. Okay, now we're going to do a light push off. One, light push off. Two, light push off. Three, light push off. Four, five, six, back down. Seven, back down. Eight, back down. Nine, back down. Ten, back down. So now we're going to rest our legs for just a moment. You can put them on the top of your rebounder. Go in between the cords so you, the cords can be really uncomfortable on your ankles. Or you can be all the way down on the ground and just give yourself a break. Take like two good breaths here. <sighs> Exaggerate your breath out so you can take more air in. One more. Air in. Okay, so now breathe normally. 
So now we're just going to walk. One, two, three, four. We're doing this for 20. Five, six. The platform is barely moving. Eight, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. One foot's always on. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Come in, take a break for a second. Now we're going to go ahead and do a slight push off. One, two, really nice and slow. Three, four, five, we're going to do ten. Six, breathe out. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to do double legs, which actually engage your, engages your abdominals more. Because this is a beginner, we're not going to leave the rebounder. We're going to go up on our tippy toes when we're coming out, come back to our heels when we come down. And that will give us the illusion that we're jumping. It's going to work the muscles that we use to jump, so it's going to help strengthen them for when we're really ready to go at it. Let's go ahead and do 20 of these. One, tippy toes. Two, they're not leaving the rebounder. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you're tired, you can rest right now. If you can keep going, let's go for 20. 12, 13, just standing on our tippy toes. 14, you're really going to feel this engage. Blow out, 16, 17, almost done. 18, 19, and 20. Okay, great guys. Um, you will definitely feel your heart rate already moving up. You will feel your abdominals engaged. You might feel a little sore in here because you're not used to holding your legs in this position. You will get stronger with that, but we're also going to stretch that. And it's time for a stretch right now. Our lying down stretches are going to be slight knees, knees slightly to the side. This is not a, the same exercise as in our back series. We're just going slightly to the side. We're not letting them drop super far down. We're just going to stretch a little of this hip. And we're going to hold that for a few seconds. And then we're going to slightly come to the other side. Just slightly. Not dropping down. Trying to keep your um, mid-back on the platform. Let's do two each side. Here's number two. And if you need to do more, feel free to do that. If my head's staying straight up, and then here's two. Our next stretch, we're going to put our feet on top of our rebounder. Our arches are going to be on our rebounder. Now we're going to stretch out the pelvis a little. The first thing we're going to do is rock our pelvis. And all we're going to do is we're going to lift one hip higher and then the other hip higher, almost like your hula. So one hip higher, the other hip higher. We're going to do three of these each side. So let's start with our right hip up, left hip down, right hip up, left hip down. We're, kind of, we're not moving a lot. This is not a big movement. Here's two, two, three, three. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is curl our hips just a little up and then lay them back down. A little up, lay them back down. So pelvic tilt up, we're going to do, and we're going to do five of these. Pelvic tilt up, back down, two, back down, three, back down, four, back down, five, back down. Now we're going to sit up and we're going to actually stand up and do Eve's lunge. So to get up, there are a couple ways you can get up. You can roll to your side first and just kind of scooch over. Push up with your arms and get up. That might be one of the easier ways to get up. Another option is if you have a pole or you have any kind of hiking stick, you can use that to help you push up. You put your feet down, push through this pole, and pull yourself up. Don't worry if it takes you some time to get up off your back. I know when my mom and I first started, we felt like these turtles stranded on our backs. So we started rolling to the side, which is what we're told to do, but we actually found the pole a little easier. Um, and you can use a broomstick, you can use whatever you have, as long as it can be stable on the ground. Once your feet are down, you can push into it and pull up with your other arm to get yourself up. But now we're going to do Eve's lunge. 
I love doing an eaves lunge with the rebounder in. It gives you more height instead of bending down for the toe bar, so it helps you open that hip more. And we're doing this because we had our legs in the air and this has gotten tight, tight. And these muscles in the front of our hip really got worked with that. So I'm gonna stick my foot back to my shoulder pad. I'm gonna be on the top of my knee here. Not on the patella, on the top of the knee, lower thigh. That's where my weight's gonna be. I'm gonna make sure I get that arranged first. So toes to the shoulder pad, top of the knee. My other leg is next to the rebounder. So I'm also gonna make sure my hips facing the same wall that my rebounder is facing. I'm not gonna turn my hips one way or the other. I'm also not gonna be tilted in with my hip or out with my hip. It's gonna be relaxed and they're gonna be facing the same direction as the rebounder. And I'm gonna push back for five. My first two are gonna be pretty shallow. One, I'm just, and you're gonna feel it right away. You'll feel that engage right away. Two, we're breathing through it. I'm staying upright, my head is up. I'm not looking down. Here's three. I'm going a little further back for three. And four and five, I'm really gonna just try to get a good stretch. Four. You do not have to go back as far as this, or you can go back further depending on your flexibility in these hip, in these hip flexors. And this is a great stretch for anybody who has to sit a lot as well. So I'm gonna come across like this. If your knees are sore, if your knees are sore, you can absolutely walk around. And go that and come around the front and do it that way. So, toes against the shoulder pad. I'm on, again on the top of my knee, not on my patella. I'm gonna have my other leg next to the rebounder. My hips are facing the same direction as the rebounder. And I'm gonna go back shallow for two. One, two, make sure you're breathing out and I'm upright. Here's three. A little further back for three. Four and five. I'm gonna go back as far as I can. Hold it as long as you need. That gives you a great stretch for your post rebounding. If you need a progressively harder rebounding workout, go ahead and stay tuned because I will be making those as well. But I wanted to do this dream very beginner workout for the rebounder, you can do this on opposite days. You don't have to be doing other exercises while you do this rebounder routine. This is a perfect, um, quick little rebounding workout. And if you keep at it, you remember your foot does not even have to leave this trampoline. And you can still get the muscles engaged until you're strong enough to really push off. And we'll have more of those kind of workouts later. Okay guys, please let me know if you have any comments or questions below. And I will see you next time on Everything Aerobic Bye guys.